Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In this one I'll be showing you the first game that I ever made. But before I do that I'd like to apologize that I wasn't able to upload any videos for the past two weeks because I've been extremely busy with college work. But with that out of the way let me just tell you a bit more about this game. So this game was made back in high school about four years ago, maybe a bit more. Basically as an assignment for a programming class. And before this I wasn't really programming anything on my own in my spare time, so this was my first experience with a real project. If we quickly go over the menu options we can see three different buttons. The first button, Zachnigro, basically means uh, start the game and it brings us to the level selection screen, where we can select the level we want to play on. The second button isn't really that important because it just brings us to the screen where the settings should be. But it just brings us to a picture without any interactive element, so we can't really change the settings of the game. And the last button is hot, basically just means exit and it closes the game. But with the menu covered, I can now actually tell you what the game is all about. As you can see from the video, the game is about a monkey that is trying to reach the red box on the final tower, whilst using the unsafe towers that regularly appear and disappear. And as you can see from the video, the towers covered in green are safe checkpoints. To play the game you use the WASD keys to jump forward, left, right or backwards. And you can use the directional keys on your keyboard to rotate the camera or zoom in or zoom out. And a small problem with buildings appearing and disappearing randomly are some moments like this where you have to wait for the correct buildings to appear. And if we're lucky and if we time it right we can take a much longer path to the finish line. After we get to the end a screen will appear that will basically congratulate us and give us an option to repeat the current level or try the next one or we can also go back to the main menu or back to the level selector screen. The first button will repeat the level, the second one will go to the next one and the third one will go to the level selection screen, the fourth one will go back to the main menu. So if anybody is interested in trying the game out, I'll be posting a github link to a binary file. Unfortunately I wasn't able to find the source code of the project, but if I do in the future I will upload it to that repository. If we just go back, we can press the escape button to pause the game. And from there we can go back to the level selector screen or back to the menu. Also beware when selecting the levels, there are only about 4 levels playable, I think they're the first 4. If you try to select any other levels, the game will probably just freeze, and from there you'll have to forcefully shut it down. If you die in the game, this screen with a sad monkey will appear, and it will ask you if you want to continue the game, or if you want to go back to the main menu. If you press the left button, da, which basically means yes, it will repeat the current level, Otherwise the game will just go back to the level selector screen. As the levels progress you might notice that there are less and less green building checkpoints. So this makes a level a tad harder to complete. So that's about it for this video. If you like the video like it. And if you don't want to miss any future uploads please subscribe to my channel. Before I go I should also tell you that the progress videos will resume in about 2-3 to three weeks. In the meantime, as I've stated before, I will be uploading some basic tutorials, getting ready for the particle tutorial series, but with that out of the way, I'll just leave the video playing till the last level is completed, and you'll see what happens when the game completely freezes and you can't go to any further levels or back to the main menu. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, bye!